Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, PBY Catalina needs rescuing from infamous Loch Ness. Also, C-MAX aircraft will now be assembled in the USA. And NASA confirms presence of usable water on the moon. Thank you for joining us this Friday. We hope you had a great week. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have an exciting episode today filled with the latest news. Let's start with, there is a new sighting at Loch Ness, but it's not a monster, it's actually a bird. Rescue Miss Pickup from Loch Ness is the rallying cry for a project on GoFundMe that is trying to keep one of the few remaining PBY Catalinas flying. The bird had to make an emergency landing in old places, Loch Ness. Miss Pickup is the name of one of the world's few airworthy Catalina flying boats and is currently operated by plain sailing base in Duxford, Cambridge. Miss Pickup ran into some engine problems while operating on Loch Ness on Saturday, October 17th. RNLI Loch Ness helped them secure the aircraft following engine troubles and assisted in towing the aircraft to safety. After hopes for a simple fix were dashed, the massive warbird was pulled out of the water by crane and onto dry land, thanks to money they raised online. But obviously, they are in for an extensive and expensive effort to return her to flying status since the engine will have to be replaced. Coming up, SpaceX celebrates a huge milestone. I'll have those details after the break. We've been using Swift Fuels for five years. We use it on two different Rotax powered aircraft. Swift Fuel gives us the power we need, the reliability we need. We've also found that it has a very long shelf life. It runs clean. We don't have to scrub gunk out of our oil tank. It makes a huge difference compared to 100 low lead. Affordable and economical. Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. Offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design, the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the LightSport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrol is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrol Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrol-usa.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, here's the highlights of stories you don't want to miss in the segment we call Around the Patch. SpaceX logs 100 successful launch and orbit. Last Saturday, SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched 60 Starlink satellites to orbit from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. Falcon 9's first stage, previously supported by GPS-3 Space Vehicle 3 mission in June 2020, and a Starlink mission in September 2020. Starlink satellites deployed approximately one hour and three minutes after liftoff. This mission also marked the 100th successful flight of the Falcon rocket since Falcon 1 first flew to orbit in 2008. After more than two decades, the CAF A-26 Invader is ready to return to flight next month. The CAF's A-26 Invader, which has gone by many names, most recently Little Twister, is set to return to the skies on November 1st. This aircraft has been in restoration for 21 years. Volunteers are very excited to finally see the Warbird in air, but are cautious. The safety of the airplane and the flight crew is their top priority. So far, the weather is all ready to go before takeoff. The CAF has three A-26 in the fleet. Aviation Safety Resources receives ISO 9001-2015 quality certification. 
Aviation Safety Resources recently noted that it has passed an ISO 9001-2015 registration audit and is now qualified under the high-level ISO standard. We have focused on ensuring our quality system performs at the highest level, and this qualification solidifies our commitment to meeting our customers' quality requirements, said Larry Williams, ASR President and CEO has a well-established market presence due to significant experience in design, engineering, testing, and manufacturing of whole airframe recovery systems. Flight Safety now offering King Air 360 pilot training in Tampa. Flight Safety Textron Aviation Training now offers King Air 360 pilot training at Tampa Learning Center and courses for maintenance technicians who support the aircraft at Wichita Maintenance Learning Center. The advanced technology simulator used to provide the training is qualified to level D by the FAA. Courses for maintenance technicians are offered at Wichita Maintenance Learning Center. This state-of-the-art facility is located next to the Textron Aviation Service Center in Kansas. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. C-MAX aircraft will now be assembled in the USA. C-MAX Aircraft has launched their long-awaited company assembly operations in the USA. C-MAX is ready to add the assembled in the USA tag to their aircraft, the C-MAX M22. This company has been planning this move for the past three years, requiring extensive market research and engineering upgrades. For this task, the company engaged with Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, where some 100 students, both graduate and undergraduate students tutored by business professors, prepared comprehensive business assessments. CMAX already has been developing new features for the M22 in accordance with U.S. market needs. New instrument panel versions, including an old glass cockpit, have been introduced. New safety features have been added as well, and the Rotex 912IS injected engine is now offered as an option. CMAX delivered its first IFR-capable aircraft customized for a veteran fighter pilot and international Boeing 767 captain. The company's brand new assembly line building is located at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University's Research Park with a brand new taxiway designed to provide convenient access to the facilities. The C-MAX M22, which has been exported to over 20 countries and holds a certification in more than a dozen countries, has been manufactured since 2000. After these messages, NASA confirms presence of usable water on the moon. Those details after the break. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher, or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Introducing the new ELT-345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price, while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing that you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. NASA confirms presence of usable water on the moon. NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, or known as SOFIA, has confirmed for the first time water on the sunlit surface of the moon. This discovery indicates that water may be distributed across the lunar surface and not just limited to cold, shadowed places. SOFIA has detected water molecules in Clavis Crater, one of the largest craters visible on Earth, located in the Moon's southern hemisphere. Previous observations of the Moon's surface detected some form of hydrogen, but were unable to distinguish between water and its close chemical relative, hydroxyl. 
Data from this location reveal water in concentrations of 100 to 412 parts per million, roughly equivalent to a 12-ounce bottle of water trapped in a cubic meter of soil spread across the lunar surface. The results are published in the latest issue of Nature Astronomy. As a comparison, the Sahara Desert has 100 times more the amount of water than what Sophia detected in the lunar soil. Despite the small amounts, the discovery raises new questions about how water is created and how it persists on the harsh, airless lunar surface. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. And remember, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, on Twitter. Something else to keep in mind, the Airborne Unlimited is currently operating on our winter schedule. So that means it's streamed Monday and Friday with Airborne Unmanned, and airborne flight training alternating each Wednesday. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next week.